Here's Ben Hatchett and John Steele. Sorry, Johnny, 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 Johnny Steele, sorry. Johnny Steele. Just about got my head kicked in there. <laughs> So this uh, so this is a bit different. We come up because we're both from the James English podcast. Shout out to James. But we know obviously now I'm half Scottish, living in Scotland. I had to come and see you in person, and I had to find out because this was called the greatest Scottish escape prison, was it? So yeah, she is. Obviously, John is kind enough to come and tell us the story. And she shows us what happened and where it is. So tell us the story. The rooftop prizes yeah. on, on a sunny day, they're the best, they're the best ones, day. the best days to do it on a sunny day. And I could see the whole, whole Glasgow for up there, whole East End. So, we're waiting, we've got our cousins. Cousins, the friend, PC Campbell, you know they're part of the jewel break, so they've come up and a people here. And uh, they've been out in New York, which is what just we are. Sure. They've, they've come up with this street yeah, here. They've got this street here. Yeah. So they know, they know we're in this hole. Because it's a really tech, tech shop. It's quite it's quite a, it's a big really tech. So we're not in a boat through the centre there to get a bit of weight. So we're up there, we've seen one of the teletech. And this is where the screws are. Screws, the screws are always in it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that, so they tied it from yeah. there. Yeah. So what was it done that you tied it to? The washing? They yeah. tied their end to the screws washing line. To <laughs> <laughs> so the screws washing line as well, yeah. come on. So the screws <laughs> helped. The yeah, screws helped! <laughs> and it was a good, a good 90 feet to up there, down here. Mm -hmm. And it was a quite a dangerous stunt, but it was constant. Once we kicked out, we didn't realise. We just went, I don't know, escaped from the screws. It was committed, didn't it? Then. So once we got out of that wall, and fucking the hull of blew open up. And they were clip calling us the Blinny Tavern, the SAS style escape. And, yeah. and we couldn't go along with the road talking about it. Made me, the, obviously, it made all the oh, plates. Oh, fucking headlines. That's why you called it the greatest, what was it, the greatest Scottish? Scotland's, Scotland's great escape. Scotland's great escape. SAS style. And they were fucking gone banana, they were gone nuts. Because yeah. they knew we were going to escape. The serious crime squad, the 4th Infiltrator, they were going to escape. Yeah. They, they were going to escape. 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 Then after the escape, That's embarrassing for them as well though, isn't it? Then after the escape, of course, we got three weeks later, we got caught and uh, 
my brother Jim, he's caught first. Yeah. He's caught on the Saturday. So me and my other pal who are going to run. Because we know when you're skate for that, you're going to get fucking leather when they bring you back up. What year was this? 1980. 1980. So when Jim's caught on the Saturday, I goes down to the phone book just outside Glenny Prison. The phone book's in there, I don't know where the phone is. So I've got the phone book at HMP Glenny, phone the number up. Hello? Yeah, HM Prison Bellini, also so so, can I help you? I said, aye, Johnny boy. You listen to me, listen carefully. I'm my brother Jim, we caught. I said, I'm asking for the governor. Eventually, I'm to my brother. He's walking forward to the flight of stairs. I'm going to get back up and I'm going to get back up. 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 I'm going to investigation taking place. The serious crime squad came and took us from court say right we need to take us into prison or somebody want to meet us. <coughs> you know that's say um, uh, but, 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 but you know, you're just one of the guarantees immunity. That meant immunity for the prison and murders in there. Yeah. So they told us they said we need to get you moved to the jail. Like, all we want after you to return is a country they went to the brain. But the screws. Aye. in there to meet this cunt and uh, he turns out to be one of the head procreate officials in Glasgow, a guy called Skeen. So he takes us into a wee room somewhere on the other side of that wall and uh, he says, he right, in you come. We'll be back, we'll, we'll just come back to the skating. We'll, we'll, we'll have caught that day and we'll straight back to 23 and go out. And he's sitting there, a procreate official sitting in the water, sitting there. We just want to cut and subscribe. We'll be a fuck for you. Give me your money, we'll give you your Carefully, sister Lanham, sister Dunn, see you get a year for having them there. We don't give a fuck for you. All we want is the country to take the bribe. Well, we say, well, we can't give you the fucking the country to take the bribe. Because we're going to kill you. say, no, you're going to get granted immunity. <laughs> they say, within 24 hours, you will be fucking out of this prison and go back to any secure prison that you saw us in Scotland. So, and, and we guarantee that. So, we well, still can't give you the fucking names we want. I mean, how's that? Because TC Gamble. And she had a laugh at the two relatives who You've got them lying on the on try because they've, they've been done for fucking aiding and abating in the jail break here. So they're lying in a hall up there. They're in the hall up there. They're in sea hall waiting to go to court for the jail break. And they say, we can't give you the names. So, uh, uh, are, we, are we going to use the names? You know, I know what's going to happen anyway. You're going to fucking flame Tommy. You're going to fit them up well and what to gain a conviction. So, no, 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 we don't know what we're fucking right. We fucking way we're that way. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's right. We said, okay, well, we wait to see TC and fucking Shadow after they go to the court. And then we'll give you a statement providing you haven't fucking verbal them up or manufactured any evidence. We went, did you mean that right there? So, right, we got granted immunity and we all get moved out to jail for our own safety because they cut the, the screws of white killers off. Oh, bad. So, they couldn't afford to fucking let it in half days because they really, we, we, we really didn't believe. We we'll give you the names of the country to take right? Yeah. Of course we didn't, you know what I mean? We just fucking <laughs> see the integrity of it, you know what I mean? But it was quite a remarkable escape, eh? And it was class of Scotland's the great escape. Scotland's great escape. It was very daring, we got on the other side of that wall. It's even deeper. Yeah. So that might be in what we'd have snapped. We'll fucking Game over. We'll fucking over. Anyway, I'm, I'm the first man down. And I'm sitting in the car here, and I can watch my brother Jim. Jim's the next man down. So we have sailed right up the top of the fucking school right over and then. That's why I've got the commander's sails come up. But as John says that to everyone that you've, you've got a documentary coming soon, so tell us a lot more about the time and your brother's time in prison that. that's going to be coming soon. Yeah, I can tell you quite a bit. I'll, I'll, get, I'll bring my brother along with me actually, and I can also tell you. Get, well, hopefully we've got old Joseph along, because uh, Joseph's done a lot of skates as well. I mean, yeah. What a story. Glasgow Red Scheme Wars. At the time we actually fucking went and broke through to put the stuff in prison. We were only up to break him out to get him out to protest and fight for his case. And fucking done it five in the state, you know? That was that and cut off our head in that. Well, this guy, we want to see more. Keep joining the job. We're getting an arm up in Scotland. We're going to be meeting up more, and there's a lot more to come now. Thanks for coming up here and doing this, my boy. Thank you.
Yeah. I thought you had John Paul actually. <laughs> 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 <laughs>